Quick question on Bitcoin as we're down below 10,000. Christian, we've fallen 50% from that high of a month ago. Are your, are your clients showing an interest in the cryptocurrency and others? And what are you telling them? I think, I mean, they're, they're obviously showing an interest. Um, I say always it's a speculative instrument. I mean, you can see from the volatility that we're experiencing here. Um, I think if you go back to the, to the facts and figures, uh, blockchain obviously is a revolutionary technology and it could be quite disruptive, but Bitcoin in the current format obviously is a very speculative instrument at the end of the day. Um, also, if you look at where is it actually accepted, there was a recent report, um, I think by Morgan Stanley out there, <coughs> where they looked at the 500 largest um, online retailers and only four or five of them are actually accepting a Bitcoin as a, as a means of payment at the end of the day. So I think we're in the very early stages, um, also in, in, in a stage where there's uh, irrational exuberance, let's put it that way, <laughs> um, as, and, and we'll come back to reality and, you know, eventually um, cryptocurrencies will be part of the, uh, the payment system, uh, but that's a, we're quite a bit way off. Christian, it's Vani in New York. I want to ask you about emerging markets because obviously that's your area of expertise right now at least. And point to a chart in the Bloomberg, the EMBI bond index for emerging markets. I mean, we had a sort of a choppy year and I'm wondering what you're anticipating for the coming year in terms of emerging market bond markets, particularly given what's going on with the US and its yield curve. Yeah, very interesting question. Um, EM is really the place to be going forward, um, and that is both from a technical perspective and a long-term perspective. If you look at long-term capital market assumptions, um, the biggest growth perspective is actually in EM, but also from a more technical perspective, um, you know, on the equity side, we're putting bets on EM, but also on the fixed income side. And if you look at the, you know, in, in asset allocation, it's all about relative value at the end of the day. If you look at where high yield has gone, where high yield spreads, are and I was just saying to Mark early on <clears throat> that uh, in Europe for example high yield spreads uh, are now lower or high yields are lower than European um, dividend yield so there's clearly a case for a, uh, a case for European equities over high yield but also in a relative valuation terms uh, um, high yield versus emerging market there's a very clear case for emerging market so we prefer emerging market both hard currency as well as you know depending on the volatility that uh, you know, is, is adequate for the client, also a local currency emerging market in the fixed income space.